Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. It will only take you a second. Now, this is an important one. Well, they're all important, but this is particularly important in light of the price increases due on June 20. Right, we're all aware of the price increases, but what can we do about it? How can we shave something off our books in order to make some sort of profit, but keeping the price the same? Um, well, we don't want to do that, do we? We want, to, we want to make the same amount of royalties as we're doing now, but we none of us like the price increase. Um, and if you've got customers that have already mentioned it's a bit too expensive for what it is and all that, you're going to be reluctant to actually increase those prices. On the plus side, it's right across the board. And everybody who is a self-publisher through Amazon and who uses the print-on-demand service of KDP will be in the same boat. They'll all have to put their prices up if they want to keep the same royalties. So when it comes to competition, the other competition you'll have is from it, uh, traditional publishers who can keep their prices low. Now you'll see uh, color, full color books, a cookbook. So I'm going to talk about cookbooks in this because there's color images and I want to talk about those. And they could be say $10 for the book with say a hundred pages maybe or more, 200 pages. And you can't compete with that and make royalties. You, you can't do it. So your price has got to be something more like $16 in order to make a couple of dollars, if you're lucky. So it, it, that's if you're using color. So it's not easy. Or if you're using premium color, I should say. Now that's what I want to talk about. Now, these are two of my two versions of my one of my cookbooks. Now I like to use color. Um, and okay, I'm not selling as many, but it's just something I like to do. I like all my books to be um, best they can be. And sometimes that's at the detriment of, of profit and losing profit and um, or losing royalties, I should say. And I can't help myself. So my original book for this particular book was in premium color. Now I like the idea of the heavier paper. I like the idea of the premium inks, the premium paper. And I like the idea of that quality. I created a copy of my book in standard color. Now, if I lift it up to you, I will open them up at the same pages. Now, you, you probably won't be able to tell through that lens for a start, but I can. I can tell what's going on here. Now I'm going to hold, hold up another one. And we're going to see if you can see any difference from there. You may be able to, but it's when it comes to getting a closer look, me being fussy like I am, and being a photographer, I can tell the difference instantly. Now, if I was to purchase this book, I wouldn't have a clue. Um, and that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see whether the standard color was worth having over the premium color. And although there's a difference, if I put them close together, you may be able to see the bottom one is more vivid. Let's just go a bit closer. The bottom one is more vivid than the top one. But at the same time, you would only know that if you held up both together. The other thing is the paper quality. Now you can, you, you can't feel that, but you can, you can see, it, you can hear it. Let's try this one. You can, you can hear the difference, can't you? You know, I'm, I'm fussy, yeah. You know, I appreciate that. But why not? 
That's noisier. That's crisper. And it feels a little thicker, which it is. And this is a little rougher. That's quite smooth. Now, if I hold them both together, you might be able to see the difference there. Again, yeah, I'm being fussy, but I'm doing this so that we can see how much we can save by going from premium colour to standard colour in our books. And what difference does it make um, to look at for the customer, from the customer's point of view, given that Amazon don't do glossy pages anyway, so that won't make any difference. So it's all kind of a matte finish. Now you can see the difference there. Well, I can, because this one on the on your right is slightly thicker, and that's because the paper is slightly heavier. It's a better quality paper in this one. Right, what we've got here is, as you can see, you'll be familiar with this already, printing costs will change on June 20th. Now, I've already done a video on that, and I'll put a link here for that. Now, I've got this priced at $16.99. There's 100 pages. It's in premium colour on premium paper. The printing cost for this is $7.85. The royalty for this is $2.34. After the 20th of June, it will be $1.19. I can't afford to put it in expanded distribution because if I do, the minimum I can price this book for is $19.63 in the US. In the UK, the minimum is $13. So I can't really afford to do that. I will be pricing myself out of it. So it's not in expanded distribution because of the premium color and the premium um, paper. The UK, I've got it at $11.99. That's the lowest I can go really, so that I make £1.99 in earnings on that book. After June 20th, it will be 34 pence. So I would have to put it up, let's have a little look. If I put it up to 12, I'll still only be making one pound. What about 13.99? One pound fifty-four, fourteen and I'm making my two pound just over again after June. But the price has gone up by four pounds for that one book. Now, when I've got, I've only had one person mentions it's expensive for what it is. You know, I don't like those kind of reviews. But it was only ever one. Um, how would they feel about paying fifteen pounds for it? What about in the US? I make $2. Let's keep going. After the 20th, I'll make $1.19. So let's put it up. Let's go for $18.99. Okay, so after June, I'll make $2.39. So pretty much, not, not too far away, a few, few cents away from what I would have been making. But it's gone up only by $2. But that's enough. 1899 it doesn't sound good at all so that's what made me think about standard color i worried about standard color i wanted it to be the best will standard color do right okay so now we'll go to what the prices are in standard color right so i've already set this now at 14.99 in us dollars that's still two dollars cheaper than it is now but I'll make, I'll earn $4.54 right now on this book in preparation. Obviously, I've got to go back in on the 20th of June and just rejiggle them because they'll have nudged them all over the place with the increase. That's what I'll be aiming for, $14.99. So I'll make $4.54. After June 20th, I'll make $3.79. And the book is still $2 cheaper than it was before. And I'll make pretty much $1.50 more than I did before. So yeah, I can, re I can afford to reduce that even more. But because the sales are high right now on this book, okay, on this particular book, I've sold over 1,500 copies this month alone. So, you know, when you, when you look at it that way, um, that, that's a big seller. It's a big earner, and it's going to be even better 
now that I'm using standard colour. I can price the book for less and I can earn more royalties. What about the UK? $9.99 I can price this book for. Well, I'm pricing this book for right now instead of $11.99 in pounds. Right now, I'll earn $2.79 per book in royalties. And after June 20th, I'll earn, if I keep it the same, which I will, it's still £2 cheaper than it was before, I'll earn £2.44. So about 30 pence more. Great. Cheaper book. It'll reach more people. And I'll still earn my money. Now, the problem you've got is you can't simply go back in to Amazon KDP into your uh, bookshelf and change um, the paper from on the color from color from premium color to um, standard color. You can't change the paper size, the page sizes, or anything like that once you've published a book. So those books have to be republished. Now, if you've got a book that's selling um, like this one is, for instance, then you're going to have to either take a hit on the pricing, which I may do a little bit of a hit. I may put it up a little bit, maybe a dollar, or put another book out. The same book, same everything, the same file, the same manuscript, the same cover, put it up for standard color. So that's your other options. You'll have two of the, the same book out twice in two different formats, and they can be classed as formats. It's not like you're putting the same book up all over the place. You're not. It's like if you was to do it in black and white, you could also do that, and you'll make huge savings. Um, I also have it in black and white. I don't have an ebook yet because it's only new out. And when you get haters, say, for instance, or you get people or competition, it's too easy for them to actually go straight to an ebook, leave a bad review, and uh, disappear again. And it's too easy. This way, they have to, if they want to verify purchase, they have to make me buy a book and have an address and everything. So it's, um, I don't put an ebook up until much later. The other thing is expanded distribution. Not only do I keep my prices low and earn more in royalties, I can now go into expanded distribution. So what will I get? Okay, I'll get ATP in the UK for expanded distribution. I'm cool with that. It's just extra. In the US, I'll get $1.55 for anything sold in expanded distribution. Again, I'm cool with that. So all the color books I have now, when it comes to um, to-do books, I will make another version of them that I've got a premium color. I'll make another version of them in standard color, and I will keep both going. So, I mean, it's just more for people to find, isn't it, basically? When it comes to children's books, my children's books are going to take a hit. Let me just go into one of my children's books. Right, from the 20th, this is the first time I've looked at this, by the way, because I'm working my way through all my books. It's at $9.99 US dollars. It's an expanded distribution, and my royalties are $2.34. After June 23rd, I make zero in royalties and an expanded distribution, nothing. So what's the price going to have to be? Okay, so if I go for $11.99, I will earn $2.99 in royalties, and it's back in expanded distribution. So there's nothing I can do about that, except put another version out in standard color. Now, because the images are full color, um, full page, edge to edge color, I don't think it'll work. I really don't think it'll work. I think it's going to be... So I may have to put those prices up completely. Let's go to the UK one. If I go to $7.99. No, the minimum I can sell this book for is £8.13. £8. So let's go for $8.99. Okay, so we're back on now, but I'll earn more. Well, let me just see if I can go for eight forty nine. Okay, I'm now earning pretty much 
what I would have done before at $5.99, but now the book's $8.49. I mean, that's criminal for a book, for the pricing to go up like that. But you have to be prepared. Any books you're doing now, I would suggest you use standard color. If your images are a part, like you've seen in my cookbook, if your images are part of a page and they're not the full page, I would suggest going for standard color and you'll make a huge saving if you're using color at all. You'll make a huge saving. You may even earn more in royalties. And from what I've just seen there, from what you've just seen there, I'll give you another look. Now, without a doubt, I'm sure you can see the difference in that. But only because I'm comparing. You'd be quite happy with that. And I'm sure you'd be quite happy with that if you hadn't seen the other one. Not a problem. Because that's the cheaper one. Right. That's it.